ஹலோ அண்டு வெல்கம் டு திஸ் வீடியோ இன் விச் யூ வில் லேர்ன் அபவுட் இமேக்ஸ் இமேக்ஸ் இஸ் அ ப்ரோக்ராமிங் எடிட்டர் இட் இஸ் அ டெக்ஸ்ட் எடிட்டர் அண்ட் யூ கேன் டூ மெனி திங்ஸ் இன் இமேக்ஸ் லைக் ரீட் யுவர் இமெயில் ப்ரௌஸ் வெப் ப்ளே சர்டன் கேம்ஸ் வர்ஜன் கண்ட்ரோல் டிபாகிங் it's a multi purpose tool calling it uh, an editor is not an appropriate thing but in general people uh, treat emacs as a text editor so to install text editor you need to launch synaptic so let us launch synaptic it will ask you for your password root password that is so let's give that and then you go and search for emacs so we have that search now you can install emacs 23 or 24 if you have 24 in your uh, uh, repository i don't have 24 even now so i'm using 23 <coughs> now when you first time run uh, emacs you may want to change certain options like parenthesis match highlighting auto fill in text mode use directory names in buffer and uh, you may want to show these things which i have shown here and you may want to change uh, this uh, fringe to right and buffer boundaries on in the right fringe you may want to move scroll bar to your right you may want to change your default font and size and then you save those options by clicking save options you see it says root home shift dot emx so say control x control f to open the file and then you type dot emx so till now you would have something up to here in the beginning it is empty and what you see below my cursor will not be there and this line will not be there now this controls whether emacs will create backup or not i do not like backup files to be created so you can customize that over here so we go here backup option and then we toggle this and we say save for future sessions so it writes that so now you will get that and uh, emacs need certain packages which you can download from marmalade marmalade is a list repository for emacs so i have 23 and so if you are not using 24 you need to copy this and put it somewhere and then you add these lines to your dot emacs so i have put it in my home directory inside dot emacs dot d that is where usually files of emacs go and i have pasted it there and then i put this line this much which i copied so <clears throat> this is how you put uh, package dot el you copy from there which you can see here if you visit the link this link will see something like this you copy this paste it here and then press control x control s to open a file the command is control x control s package so if the file will not exist it will be empty and then we can fill the buffer okay so now this much is done then you can say all text refresh uh, sorry package refresh contents and then marmalade will load its repository 80 kb or so and then you can install packages using package install command i recommend you to you install flymake and auto complete okay once this much is done you need sedate so to get sedate i request you to visit this link it will download the tar.gz which i have saved here said it dot tar.gz and then you can say tar 
sedate oops you will have to say minus xf of course bingo so you get this and then you can move to dot uh, emacs dot d dot d and then you go to dot emacs dot b cd sedate and then you say make once that is done you open the install file um, okay control x control f is the command again and you see the documentation here so make is here now you copy this portion which is here from the elif code and uh, it is said that you need to copy this so you copy this and then you have got this much i have uh, uh, started uh, i have started loading these three lines so now our sedate will be loaded so then you save the .mx file by saying control x control s and then you can say evaluate buffer or you can say byte compile and load for faster loading so now our uh, minimum stuff is ready for programming it's not much but it will work now to show you the sample of the power of emacs i'll go to one of c files which i have prepared for next tutorial so now you have got something called senator and uh, now let's run one more thing okay so it loaded several things and then now you see integral primitive type this and this what is this it is talking about this int and it's showing its int so it is a code helper now let's put it over here and see if it shows us something possibly it will not show us something but if we put it here then it should definitely show us something now it is a primitive floating point type double precision 64 bit IEEE 754 now that tells you about specification complex I think is not yet documented which is a new feature which came in C99 before that it was not there let us go and see if it says about printf I don't know if it will say type def okay so yeah it does say something enum yeah it does say and so you can get a lot of help from this and say for example this header is there so you can right click and say parse this include and uh, maybe now it can say something about printf you see so the point is it is quite powerful now let's ask it to parse complex parse this include okay now does it say anything about complex yes it does it says it's a constant okay so now we have this in picture and uh, so <clears throat> what other options we have is functions and include and uh, c mode gives you this and senator gives you this so you can draw uml graph you can draw charts you can analyze and uh, say uh, for example you can click this and uh, um there is code complexity you can see so, so there are several things if, for example find this tag so i say find this tag so it says yes find references for main so yes there is a one reference of main and if we go here so where is this it is in this file okay so there are plenty of options for you to explore you can do copy tag copy paste tag properties tag decorations so you can decorate on private and protected members and you can search there are several things you can do so you need to explore this so if, for example uh, highlight changes in this buffer show parser state and highlight uh, unmatched syntax now I was talking about Flymaker also 
So for fly make, we have a special syntax for make file. Note that uh, you cannot alter this, and this is f syntax only, will not do any compilation actually. Now, we go back to our stuff and see what fly make does. I delete this. And then I enable fly make mode. Enabled. You see? You see, there is a red. Okay. It, it is weird. This uh, font thing is weird. So, the actual message you will see is when you try to compile this alt text compile and then say the target and save it. So, this shows you what it actually gets from the compiler. But if you want to see actual thing, then you will have to do a make ce so it actually looks like expected this this before return so these characters emacs cannot show or maybe that is because of a font problem okay so uh, you will uh, hit your errors very quickly using fly make mode and the, this is the beginning. I mean, there are lots of modules for this. For example, there is Magit, which is the Git. Okay, I have not installed Magit, but you can install Magit, which will help you check in into Git repositories and so on. So, for example, if you go to C absolute, so it is a function which evaluates the absolute value of uh, uh, complex numbers. And this is not uh, the end for Emacs. It can compile for you. You can debug. So it says CE. So for example, I'll terminate this and I'll go to make file. I'll make a change. I'll enable uh, um, debug build. And then I'll compile again. And then <coughs> we'll say alt text GDB. And then it'll load. And now GDB is on and you have got all sorts of uh, help here. So you can say list. So uh, it shows uh, near main. So so you say B main. Oops. So you say B main. So it puts a breakpoint in main and then you say run. So it starts running. So you see the breakpoint here. It has come. And then you can say next so see how it goes um, so it's not that Emacs is only an editor it can do a lot more okay so it cannot show you the VF printf code and we say continue so it terminates exited normally that is return zero so you can do side by side uh, debugging if you have got a big monitor or a dual monitor it will be smooth you can even configure it to read news, mail, and uh, you got a calculator inside a calendar. Uh, you can play certain games. I like playing Tetris. And it is not that it is meant only for C. You can do C++. And uh, you can install Emacs Code Browser, which will give you more like uh, IDE feeling. And uh, the tags, which you have seen here, these will be displayed uh, in a right side pane. I have not yet installed the ECB because it is a fresh installation of my system. Uh, one thing uh, in the end I would say that all uh, good programmers use Emacs. When I say good, it's not good, it's rather great programmers use Emacs. But uh, that does not necessarily mean that if you use Emacs then you are a great programmer. It's the other way around. If you're a great programmer, you will use Emacs. So, like Stallman or uh, Noth or Linus Torvalds, they use Emacs. They are known user of Emacs. And it can also run on command prompt. So, if you don't have a GUI, then you can say Emacs no X. Okay, I don't have no X installed. I don't have no X. Um, sorry, not the blue. No. It won't work. I don't have that installed, but you can install that here. This package without tech support. If you install that package, 
you will get this so uh, the learning curve of uh, emacs is uh, steep now it will take you probably a year or two and you will have to learn a list so the best idea to learn Emacs is you read the tutorial. It has full tutorial, so you can read it. It's quite big actually. It's not as simple as scroll. Emacs accelerates uh, mouse movement as you go. And then you can read uh, more manuals, any info document, any man page which is there on your system. It can read that. You can read entire Emacs manual here. It's quite a big manual. It is not there because I don't have... Uh, documentation installed but uh, you can install that and then uh, there is something called emacs goodies el now uh, you should ideally install this because it contains lots of things uh, for you color theme is one of them of course and uh, dict is there uh, i am also not an expert of emacs but uh, i can uh, do my work and uh, it, the one of the best part is you can uh, have macros in Emacs now we've got Perl docs so it shows help on Perl functions and all so it supports many languages it has very good support for Python through uh, rope, ma rope max and uh, Python rope and Python mode and it has uh, an XHTML mode, it has an XML mode, there are many, many modes. And one of the best resources on internet about Emacs is uh, Emacs Wiki, which has got tons of information about Emacs. So this place is your best uh, bet to get information about Emacs. So <clears throat> you got tons of information here, tons. There is no end to Emacs. And last, if you have uh, some problem, like you cannot uh, find a functionality, then you can uh, learn Elisp and code it yourself. Or if you know Python, you can code using Pymax. <coughs> I cannot appreciate Emacs enough for it is such a great program. And I would like to end this tutorial with this. Let me play this game for a while. Um, you see, and you know, you can write your own uh, Tetris inside Emacs. So if you write uh, your own Tetris, please put that in Marmalade and uh, hopefully one day I'll play your Tetris rather than this one. If you can make it 3D, I'll appreciate that much. So this is the beauty of uh, Emacs. Learn it, it will serve you well. Uh, that's all I can say. What more can I say? Right? All right. So enjoy Emacs. Uh, and I'm pretty sure if you stick with this, it won't let you down. That's all. For now, see you later. Bye.